Hey guys, I'm super excited to finally be filming Riley's nursery tour. So I figured I'd just show you around, kind of show you some of the stuff that we've been buying and some of like the current setup for her nursery. Um, right now I'm 36 weeks pregnant, so I don't know if you can tell how big my belly is, but dude, it is huge. But yeah, she's gonna be here any moment, and I honestly think that she's gonna be early. But if she were to get here early, I'm pretty sure that we have, for the most part, like everything set up that we need to have. And so, yeah, I guess I'll just show you some of the stuff in her room. So this is her crib, and her crib is from Bye Bye Baby. I got the crib and the changing table. It was like a set that came together. Um, so I bought that. I honestly did not spend a lot of money on the crib and the changing table. I think we spent like $130 for both pieces together. So that was not bad at all. And then we bought the bedding online. I'll have to leave a link to it somewhere. But we wanted something that was like really feminine and really pretty without being like too bubblegum, without being too like kind of cheesy. I don't know. That's just not my taste. We wanted something that was still kind of elegant and romantic. And then my grandma helped. She bought this bumper piece and she bought that pillow that goes with it. So I'm obsessed with her bedding. She's got a little sheet back there. So let me tell you a little bit about this elephant that is above her crib. So we found that elephant at TJ Maxx and we fell in love with it. We're obsessed with elephants. Joe is a huge Alabama football fan and like their mascot is the elephant. So really originally he wanted to have an all Alabama themed room for her. And I was like, well, obviously that's not going to happen. Our baby girl is not going to have an Alabama themed nursery, but I'm totally okay trying to incorporate some elephants into the nursery. So that's kind of what we settled on. We love elephants anyway. If you saw her gender reveal party, which I'll leave a link to down below, everything was elephants. She got another elephant over here. So yes, we are big elephant people and so when we saw this painting we fell in love with it. I also love this like shaggy like carpet so we got that. Let's see what else can I show you. These were some of the pieces that my mom picked up for her. I think where did she get these? She got these at Hobby Lobby and again we have plenty of wall space so that eventually we can keep adding to it. We can Put a lot more stuff on the walls but I think for now this was a good starting point. I've got her closet which is still a work in progress but I'll show you some of the stuff that I have in there later. Um, but then we've got the R which we hung up which this R, this piece was at her baby shower um, and we moved it in here and we put it up on the wall. My mom made this from scratch. It's like, let's see, it's like a, it's like a wooded letter and then my mom bought like all of the fake flowers and she glued them on herself. So it's like a really special piece and I love that we can have it here in her nursery. And then we do have a TV in the nursery and I'm gonna use it because when I'm sitting in this chair nursing our baby, I'm gonna need something to watch on TV. So there is a TV in here. And then we've got just like some pictures. This is one of Joe and I's engagement pictures. So I'll just like what, two, two and a half years ago, maybe three years ago. This is one of her sonogram photos with her, like her little feet. And then this is, this is Joe's favorite candle in the whole world from Bath and Body Works, uh, the leaves scent. We are obsessed with this. Um, so I bought one for her room just because I really like, I do like how it smells, but I thought the container was so pretty. So Joe's mad because I don't let him light it. It's just gonna stay here as a decoration, but it looks really pretty. And then we've got, like I said, this elephant was at her gender reveal party. And then this was one of the photos from our maternity session. Okay, so this is like the bottom half of her closet. Her clothes is all up on the top, but I wanted to show you some of the things that we bought just like to keep some of her stuff organized. So the first thing is we bought this like little hamper at Target. So I think it's the perfect size just like to throw away like her dirty clothes in. So we're gonna be using that. And then we also bought these like, uh, I don't know what you call these, these like little drawers. Um, they're totally made out of plastic, but I think they'll do for now. Um, we're gonna keep like a whole bunch of her little things in here, her little bloomers. Um, see, she's got her Alabama bloomer. Daddy's a huge fan, so there was no way she wasn't gonna have a Bama bloomer. And what else? We have here in this drawer, we have like a whole bunch of her burp cloths. Um, some of them are really pretty and printed, but we also bought her some regular 
do you call these? These are like cloth diapers. So these are gonna be used as like burping pads, I guess. This is her swaddle um, that we're gonna be taking to the hospital. I have a matching robe, so it's gonna be really cute when we like do pictures together. And then these are like the <laughs> tiniest little socks I've ever seen in my whole life. Um, so we've got like a whole bunch of like her little sock things, um, a whole bunch of like little onesies, um, like little hats in here. So we've kind of organized them, little mittens. We've kind of used like the bins and kind of like organized them somewhat. But everything that's in here has now been washed. So we still have a few other things that we need to wash. And we've got like some bibs, little footy pajamas. So all of this stuff is ready to go. I have to choose a few of them to put in her hospital bag um, so that she can wear them in the hospital. And then um, up here, I also, I need to find a place to put these, but this is her first pair of Nikes. Um, my dad bought them for her and I just think they're the cutest things in the whole world. So when she's big enough to walk or whenever she's big enough to fit in these, she will be totally rocking these Nikes. My sister bought her this little outfit. It says, Auntie is my bestie. And it's super cute. It comes with like the little matching bow. And it comes with a freaking <laughs> tutu. So she will definitely be wearing this at some point. This is something we decided to do. We decided to do the whole uh, cord blood and cord tissue collection. So we went with a company called Cryocell and it comes with a whole kit where, I don't know, I just, all I know is I need to take this to the hospital and give it to the nurse or the doctor and tell them to collect my stuff. I don't know. So um, I have to make sure that I put this next to my hospital bag. If not, I'm going to forget it. And then, yeah, I have a couple other things in her closet that I haven't quite um, put away. But I have some of like her like tummy time mats and then I have like a whole stash of pampers. And then um, my friend Mylene gave me this like little pocket system thing that she had from her kids. So we're going to use it to like put like some like of her bows and to put like some other like knickknacks. So and then this is some of her clothes that has not been washed yet. Up there is just like a hot mess that I need to like organize. Then here... I have like a whole bunch of her blankets. She's got a whole bunch of these like elephant toys and like little blankies. So she's gonna love those. These blankets are so soft. And then these are some swaddle blankets. This is the Halo sleep sack. We got that for her. It's like a Velcro um, swaddle thing, which I'm hoping she's gonna like, but I don't really know. Apparently every baby's different. Some babies like the swaddle blankets, other babies like the, um, the sleep sack so we will see and then here this is her changing table but I've also got a couple other things so we were gifted this dome um, it's a sound machine so apparently babies like these noises like that white noise I don't know if you can hear it so we'll be using that we have a wipey warmer I also have like a few bottles um, in case I do end up supplementing or if I have a hard time breastfeeding, we have some bottles. And then down here we have just like some teeny tiny little diapers. Like look how tiny these diapers are. They're so little. Um, and we have like the wipes, the water wipes were highly recommended. So we went ahead and we bought some of those. And here's like her medicine drawer almost. Like I've got like a whole bunch of like emergency things. It's like the thermometers, the nail clippers. Um, we have, what else? We got some pacifiers. So this was highly recommended, this nose Frida, but I have a very big problem with the idea of sucking snot out of my child's nose through a straw. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll give it a shot. Apparently there's some like filter thing that um, is supposed to make sure that the snot doesn't go in your mouth. <laughs> But either way, the whole concept is very strange, but I've heard really good things about it. So, I don't know, man. This is what it looks like. I think, yeah, I think this goes in my mouth and this goes in her nose. Um, and there's like this tiny little filter thing. I don't know if you can see it. So that's what's supposed to catch the snot. We'll give it a shot, but... If I do it once and start gagging, then that is going to be totally a daddy job. This TV set, this like TV stand, I fell in love with it. I bought it 
on Wayfair. It was really affordable. And then like I just plan on using like these little areas like to put like some precious moments. Or like some little knickknacks that I find along the way. So I'm hoping we can find some really cute stuff to put in there. So that's really about it. I'm hoping that you liked Riley's nursery and just some of the things that we've gotten this far. So let me know what you thought about her nursery um, and let me know what you think about these videos, if there are things that you like. If you have any questions about anything I showed you, let me know in the comments. Other than that, we'll talk soon.